Hey Chili Heads, welcome back to Red or Green. Today we have partnered with the Fresh Chili Company who gets all of their chili from Hatch. They jar all of their chili when it's at its freshest. And as you can see, look at the color on this, this chili. It looks delicious and I'm so excited to use it in a recipe today. We're gonna make some black bean and guacamole burritos and we're gonna top it with this delicious, it's a medium red chili sauce. And actually it's, it's the sauce is just Caribe. So it's just our red chili pods with some garlic and some salt. And um, we're, gonna, we're gonna use it to top our burritos with some cheese. We're gonna put it in the oven for just a couple of minutes to let the cheese melt and everything heat up. And these restaurant quality burritos will be your new favorite recipe. You're gonna be making them all the time. And I chose to do, um, do a burrito for this, for this sauce today, but we also have, um, they have a sun-dried chili. And of course we have here some pure green chili. It's just chopped green chili. So you would make it into a sauce or you would mix it into your eggs. They have so many products. I was on their website the other day and it was, it's just so exciting. They have so many different varieties of chili and salsas. Um, they're also going to give you a 10% discount. So look for that promo code in the description box below. We will also link to their website so that you can go on there and get all the products you need. The sauce is ready to go. So uh, there's not a whole lot, and this meal is gonna come together in about 30 minutes. So you could easily make this on a weeknight. All right, I think we have everything we need here, so let's get to it. Let's start by dicing half of a red bell pepper. Along with a quarter of a yellow onion. Next, in a medium saucepan, we're gonna take one teaspoon of olive oil and saute the red pepper and onion together just until the onion becomes translucent and the vegetables are softened slightly. Next, we'll add one can of black beans. Don't drain the black beans. We wanna use the broth in the black beans to make it into sort of a sauce and thicken up the beans. Now we're gonna set them aside and we're gonna make our guacamole. We're gonna start by adding two avocados to a bowl. Next, we're gonna add some onion. This equals about a quarter cup of a yellow onion diced very fine. Now we'll de-seed and dice one serrano pepper. I like to use serrano peppers for guacamole because they are always consistently hot as opposed to using jalapenos and it's always a toss up whether or not it's gonna be hot. Next, we're gonna de-seed and dice one small tomato. You don't need very much tomato in here, but I do like to de-seed them because then it sort of waters down the guacamole if you don't. Now in a medium-sized saucepan, I'm gonna add about a half of the jar of this delicious red chili. And I'm gonna let it heat up slightly. Before adding in my cornstarch swirly, what this does is it's actually gonna thicken up the, the chili so that it turns into a sauce. Next, I'm going to warm two or three flour tortillas on my comal. It just depends on how big you want these burritos. I'm gonna make um, two large burritos. So this filling will, will uh, be enough for two large burritos. Now we're ready to assemble. I add some shredded cheese, along with a black bean mixture. Now we'll add our guacamole. Now it's time to roll the burrito. And this gets a little tricky because the guacamole is gonna seep out a little bit. 
That's okay, don't worry about that. Just make sure that the seam side is down. Everything will come together as it bakes in the oven. Now spread the red chili on top of the burrito. And we'll top it with more shredded cheddar cheese. We're gonna carefully place it into the broiler on low for about two minutes. We just want everything to heat up and the cheese to melt. Once you pull it out of the broiler, top with some lettuce, some tomato, diced onion, whatever toppings you'd like. You can even use some sour cream or some more sliced avocado. You are going to love this recipe. This was so good, I decided to save one burrito and use it as meal prep for later in the week. Enjoy.